This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Alleluia Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever, just as it was in Scripture. His power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. Get ready for a rendezvous with the chosen vessel of God, His Grace Alf Lukawi. From the 22nd to the 25th of February 2024, the very essence of God's wisdom, depth, and precision shall manifest through his anointed servant. Through his grace, Alf Lukau extends an invitation to partake in the International Visitors Program, a divine convergence where souls from every corner of the world shall gather. Your presence is crucial. Secure your place now at 5 Impala Road, Kelvin View, Santon, South Africa. This moment, pregnant with promise, heralds a new year teeming with boundless breakthroughs, blessings, and unimaginable divine favor. Don't miss this extraordinary opportunity. Register today at www.alleluiaministries.com. Dial plus 2 711 35705 or plus 27 763 184-777. Come, be part of an extraordinary week where the glory and power of God shall ignite hearts and transform lives. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005 Swift Code NEDSZAJJ Use your name and surname as reference or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.
shalom. Beautiful day. This is a glorious day, the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. What an honor and a privilege to be with you this afternoon. All the sons, the daughters of Apostle Alf Lukau, I am just so privileged to be here under the great anointing and under the great umbrella of AMI. 22 years of victory. I don't know where I should start. Start by greeting you and uh, welcoming you, but I just want to say welcome to the rise of the prophetic voice. We are here on behalf of the men of God to say we love you. Welcome. For those that are watching us for the very first time, God bless you. You have tuned into the most beautiful, dynamic, and I do not uh, say that with uh, uh, less effort to say that, but one of the most dynamic programs of the end times, the times where the rise of the prophetic voice, where prophetic sons and daughters are coming together to just give God glory. Thank you so much for tuning in and for those that watch us normally, those that are tuning in for uh, as usual to understand what the spirit or to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the churches. God bless you. For those that are watching us from YouTube, those that are watching us from any platform, whether Facebook, Instagram, AMI TV, God bless you. Whether you are watching us from um, a small phone at work and you say, I'm taking some time off work just to listen to what God is saying. God bless you. Whether you're watching us in the day, in the morning, in the noon, wherever it is, I speak the shalom of God in this, mo in this time. Beloved, I just want to say it is a great pleasure and honor that I've been privileged with this opportunity to speak and to minister the word of God. Now, one will say that it's a normal thing for you to preach. We do not take it lightly because this altar of the great men of God is an altar where you burn, I promise you. You just, just don't come and minister because I know personally the sacrifice. I know the labor of love. I know the prayer of uh, what engages to come over uh, in a moment like this. I want to say to uh, Pastor Alf Lukau, to my husband, to my friend, to the one I love, that God Almighty bless you. I know that you love God. Above anything else and everything else, anybody can say, I know you love God. The sacrifice that you serve God with. And I am so happy that I'm standing by you to help you in the work of God. Here comes uh, I mean, what you've said come to pass 22 years or 23 years, I'm seeing it today. And I believe that the way forward, the greater glory ahead of us will even be greater. Because truth be told, I've not yet seen much of what God has shown you. A lot is still ahead of you. So I pray that God may bless you, that God may give you strength, that God may be able to honor his word in your life. God is a faithful God. Continue to serve God. I just want to say that I love you. AMI loves you and appreciates you, and we honor you. And I'm not here Hallelujah. alone. I want to leave the privilege and honor to his outstanding daughter that will come here <laughs> and uh, just minister, Pastor Rochelle. God uh, bless you. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. I love you more. <laughs> and I am, you know, more privileged and more honored, Amen. you know, to be able to sit with you on our Father's altar. I'm actually sweating <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> because, um, you know, just the weight of the anointing, mommy, as you sit next to me, is so heavy Amen. that I am literally sweating. But I thank God for the grace. Amen. And, I, and I thank God for the honor Amen. of sitting with you, mommy, and uh, ministering to the world. You yes. know, I love you so much. I do. Thank you. <laughs> and I, love uh, you I honor you so much, mommy, and I respect you so much. Thank you. I think that's the most important thing for Amen. me. I've never, over the last 17 years that I've been here, I thank God that I've never taken, you know, your position, your, your place for granted. And I pray I never will thank in you. the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And of course, I want to honor my father because uh, if it had not been for my father, I would not be here today. I always tell people when people say, oh, pastor, you know, you say, oh, I say no, I don't take any credit Amen. at all because I know like you said, Mami, the investment that uh, our Father has made in each and every one of us. Amen. And I thank God for it because everything 
that I say today, that I minister today, is built, you know, on the foundation of what Alf Lukau has taught me. Amen. That one I know for sure. Amen. So, my Father, may the Lord continue to bless you. Hallelujah. May the Lord continue to lift you. May the Lord continue to elevate you. May the Lord continue to use you Amen. mightily as he is and do even greater works in your life and through your life. I love you and I honor you, my Father, and I salute you. Glory be to God for your life. Amen. Amen. We do indeed love him and uh, we appreciate the gift that he is in our lives. Absolutely. Beloved, we are boiling with uh, <laughs> excitement to just share the word of God and uh, just very uh, briefly and with this short period of time, it's quite interesting, Pastor Rochelle, where the word and uh, the confession of just the title that was given to us. I want you, if you are at home, I want you to help me stand and confess with me today that I have what I've asked God Amen. for. Do not, do not look left, do not look right. I want you to confess. Now here, just uh, uh, in, in reading what exactly the, the scripture says, it says, I have what I ask Hallelujah. God for. Hallelujah. Come on, say it to, uh, just loud where you are, if you can. I have, I have what, what I, I asked God, God for. for. With, that is confidence. You are Amen. building up Amen. your confidence. And I'm saying I'm here to declare over your life, you have what God, what you have asked God for. Amen. Now, it has, not been, it. It has not been a day of fasting. It has not been two days of fasting. Yeah. It's now quite a number of days. I think we are at day 37. 37 Hallelujah. Yeah. And now we are boldly coming into the presence of God and we're saying, I have what? I have asked God Hallelujah. For. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. It is so exciting, Mommy, because, um, you know, God's word is true Amen. and he's faithful. He's a good, oh. good father. You know, nobody goes to their parents, Amen. to their mother, to their father and asks, the Bible says, for a piece of bread and the mother or the father chases them away. So everything that we have asked for in this fast, Mommy, Amen. we have it. We have it in the name of Jesus. And that gives us, gives me a peace. Like Pastor said yesterday, knowledge makes you stable. Amen. To know that you and I have what we prayed for, mm -hmm. it makes me sleep at night, it Amen. makes me calm. I might not see it in the physical as yet, but I know that all good things are birthed in the spirit. So I know with confidence, I have what I've asked God for. I have what I have I've it. asked God for. Yeah. Beloved, you have what you've asked God for. Today in the beautiful scripture and the word of the Lord, one of the greatest gifts, and I will not stop saying that uh, I appreciate a man of God has taught us is the word. But above the word and, and uh, him asking us to digest the word, to eat the word, he has also taught us how to pray. And one of the greatest gifts Absolutely. and uh, that I will pass on from my, uh, to my generation, from generation to generation, is the spirit of prayer. Because it is in prayer where you find the confidence to be able and the boldness that you'll be able to confess the word of God. And uh, being an intercessor, beloved, I've I said this story many times, Bishop, uh, Pastor Rochelle, <laughs> that I did not know how to pray. I had to be taught to pray. And I stand today to say that most of us in Alleluia Ministries did not know how to pray, how to prevail in the presence of God. But today we can boldly Hallelujah. look at the devil and say, I have uh, what I've asked God for. So I want you to open your Bibles with us today on the scripture of the day. We will just uh, go a, a, a scripture before we get to the real uh, scripture of the day. We'll just go a little bit up. And the Bible says, so Jesus in Mark chapter 11, verse 22. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. Have faith in whom? In God. This is number one. And then he says, for as surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, does not doubt where? In his heart but believes that uh, that those things now it's very key words to remember mm -hmm. those things he says will be done he will have whatever he says and there it goes therefore now because of verse 23 
22, 23, we are confidently moving into verse 24. The Bible says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, so there is something you need to do. Amen. Whatever things you ask, when you pray, when you pray, believe that you have received them and you will have them. Hallelujah. Praise Pastor be to Rochelle. God. Yo, oh, mommy, this is such a loaded scripture and we thank God for his word. Amen. That first scripture, verse 22, says, have faith in God. Oh. Hallelujah. We thank God that we have a God that we can have faith in, a reliable God, a dependable God, mm -hmm. a steadfast God, a God that does not lie, a God that is, always makes true to his promises. Amen. You and I are requested by Jesus himself to have faith in that God. And you know, mommy, when I first came to Alleluia Ministries, I learned a very simple but a powerful truth. Pastor said that faith is equal to love. In other words, love God. Amen. Faith is equal to trust. Trust in the Lord. Amen. Faith is also equal to having hope and belief in God. When we have faith in God, we encapsulate all of those things and we understand that it is God that will give it to us. No, no, don't have faith in man. Don't, man Amen. will always disappoint you. True. You know, your circumstances will disappoint you. But when you put all of your faith in God, mm -hmm. you will never be disappointed. You know, some of us have made the error in our lives, you know, by trusting our bosses, trusting our jobs, trusting our connections, our networks. But I've learned, mommy, over the years to have faith in God, to trust God. Like Pastor always says, even when I cannot trace him, mm. I can trust him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. And then he goes on and says, if you can say to any mountain, move, it will move. That can only happen if you have faith in God. Mm. Like mm. our father, he has crazy faith in God and we see it all the time. And we are blessed, Mami, in Alleluia Ministries because we can rely on our Father's mm, faith. Mm. <laughs> if, you, if your God is dead, try mine. Amen. Those are quoted words that we all know by now. Hallelujah. And we know that, uh, uh, that, but there are people that are specifically gifted with a gift of faith. And that's a different level altogether. But to right now, we are asking you to have faith in God. But getting to what God has uh, uh, install and building up the word. The Bible says uh, in verse 23, uh, for as surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, now here Jesus Christ is speaking and he says, you need to speak to the mountain. Now what is, what is the mountain before you? What is the mountain? The mountain here could be representing anything right now and God has given you a bonus check. And God is giving you on this 37th 30, day of your fast a, a, an opportunity for you to speak mm -hmm. to the mountain. A mountain could be anything in your life that is really disturbing your peace. It could be your health that has been taken away from you. It could be your finances that has been completely, uh, uh, been completely something that has been affecting mm -hmm. everything in your life. It could be your marriage that is completely broken. It could be your children not giving you peace of mind. But what could this this mountain be that Jesus Christ says if you have faith in God all you need to do is speak to the mountain today beloved all you need to do is speak to the mountain a, this mountain with your faith in God the Bible says you will speak be thou removed you are commanding mm -hmm. can you see that the kingship of you that has been ordained by God is now being given to you and authority is being given amen, to you amen. to speak to the mountain amen. who speaks amen. only those that are children of That's God right. hallelujah glory be to God mommy you know um, I thank God you know once again for the Word of God because our Father has taught us that, you know, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Hallelujah. If you don't, uh, if you don't, um, you know, if you don't confront that issue, that mountain, it won't move. Mm. You know, you've got to confront it. You've got to make that mountain understand that it does not have a place in your life. That mm. sickness does not have a place in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, that unemployment, whatever the issue may be, does not have a place mm. in your life. You confront it. You're not intimidated by it. Instead, as our Father has taught us, you are motivated to say, you better get out of my way because you don't belong in my life. 
And as we said, you know, having faith in God, having trust in God, being dependent on God gives us that confidence. We know that because we are in God, that um, Jesus died for a reason. You know, he died so that the works of the enemy can be destroyed in our lives. Therefore, that mountain, you know, that represents any kind of frustration in our lives is illegal. And it has mm. to move. It has to. it has to move. But we do it when we have faith in God, the one who, who moves mountains, Amen. the one who heals cancers, mm. the one that can change our stories, mm -hmm. the one that can change our destinies. We have faith in him. And when we say to anything, move, it will move. That is why, mommy, we have faith and confidence to say today, to declare today that I have what I have asked for. Mm. It's because we have faith in God. Amen. We know our God. We know the God of Alf Lukau. Amen. <laughs> we have seen evidence upon evidence of the great and mighty things that God can do and Amen. God is doing in the ministry on the altar. Amen. And that's what builds our faith. And therefore, don't accept the status quo child of God. No, don't accept whatever the doctor says. Mm -mm. I refuse it in the name of Jesus. Amen, <laughs> amen. You know, um, in reality, we see a lot of miracles taking place in Alleluia Ministries. Alleluia Ministries is a ground of miracles. Amen. It is a house on fire. It is a house where God dwells. There is no two ways about it. That's why I wonder sometimes, how is it that people decide, okay, I'm going to leave the church. Where, where do you go to? You leave the church, but then you go on YouTube to, to catch up again. So what did you do? Nothing. Yes. Because there is fire in this house. Amen. This is a house of covenant. Amen. God Amen. made a covenant and established a covenant with his servant. He says, whoever you lay hands on shall be healed. Whoever, whatever you speak. Now, this is an authority given to us by God. Now, I, I can tell you, beloved, that in life there are levels and there are levels. Amen. We don't all have the same levels. Amen. That is clear. Mm. There are people that, are, that have been established in your life that have higher authority than you spiritually to speak to mountains Amen. and to speak uh, over your life. A man of God took us through the teaching uh, where he says that there are different type of uh, ways in which you can fight the battle. Mm -hmm. There are different type of ways. There are three ways. There are battles that uh, you have or you ju just need yourself to fight. You go there, you, you pray, and it is done. There's a level where you need, the, you need to come to your man of God. Mm -hmm. And you come and you say, man of God, this is my problem. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is just in, in the brackets. For those that are still debating whether or not they need to come to the IVP, whether or not they need to join us this weekend for the great overnight and the fasting and the breaking of the fast i am asking you not just as a bishop but as a mother Amen. come to the house of god Amen. come and receive the fire of the holy Hallelujah. spirit come never undermine your your coming to your altar That's even right. if you just come and touch the altar Amen. because there are battles in your life that you will never be able to fight Amen. alone Amen. you will have to have the touch of your altar Amen. i know a son of mine that arrived from paris and he says mom i just came i know i'm at the wrong time because my wife is about to give birth but i'm just here Amen. to touch the out of my dad mm -hmm. and I need then after that I'm fine for uh, whatever battles are ahead of us yes. now the third type of battles is the battles that only God can help you with so that those three type of battles beloved are the battles you need to be careful with in life battles that you can fight as a child of God battles that the level of your man of God has to fight for you battles that God fights for you and right now we were busy praying for 36 uh, 30, 37, 37 days and we were fighting we were beating the enemy. We are fighting. We are, uh, we are literally in spiritual warfare. Amen. We are at that point where we are speaking to mountains Amen. and we are commanding mountains to move, Amen. sicknesses to be cast out. We are literally, literally uh, coming eyeballs to eyeballs with the devil, the one that used to be Lucifer, the one that used to know how to bring light to God. We are standing with angels, hosts of angels that are fighting with Hallelujah. us. Just as Daniel, when he was praying you, for 21 days, he prayed, I mean, fasted and prayed, and God brought him answers. Today, I'm here to say I have good news for you. You can boldly confess already from yesterday when our man of God was ministering uh, so beautifully, and I was so blessed 
blessed and I wish we could have remained longer and longer in the word but I'll advise you go back to the breaking of the fast of yesterday the word where he spoke about confidence in Christ mm. confidence in uh, uh, understanding that when you pray God answers Hallelujah. that is the secret that you need in life Amen. beloved when you pray God answers now just get into what God has to say be, uh, pastor oh my goodness mommy Thank you so much for the word and for that encouragement. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now we get to Mark 11 verse 24. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ set the scene. He said, have faith in God. And when you have faith in God, you'll be able to say to any mountain, move and it will move. And he says in verse 24, therefore, mm -hmm. so it's an added, therefore means it's an additional piece of advice. Mm -hmm. You know, the story has not ended. Amen. He said, therefore, I say to you. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that we are serving a living God in Hallelujah Ministries. We are serving the King of glory, mm -hmm. the God strong and mighty, the one who went to the cross to pay the price. Mm -hmm. You know, the one who has settled the bill. I love to say that. The one that has paid the ransom. Mm -hmm. The one that said that I became poor so that you can be rich. So that, and I, by my stripes, you were healed mm -hmm. or you were healed. All these beautiful promises of forgiveness, mm -hmm. beautiful promises of God's peace and joy. That's the God that is speaking right now, Jesus Christ. And he says, I am saying to you, and he's mm -hmm. saying it to you right now, child of God, to you. And you know, you must personalize the word of God, mm -hmm. like our Father has taught us. Embrace the word of God, mm -hmm. own the word of God, and Amen. understand that the word of God, it's not just words on a page, mm -hmm. it is life. Amen. The word of God is literally our life. And I always love what our father says, mommy, when he says that he's built his life on the word of God. That means you and I can do exactly the same. Amen. So the Lord says, I'm saying to you, child of God, right? That whatever mm. blank check, whatever things, whatever, whatever things, mm. anything, in other words, he's just using very good English, anything that you ask, you have to ask. It's a law of the kingdom, mummy, that we have to ask because Christianity is a speaking faith. We are not of those that sit in, in our, in our, you know, on our haunches and do this. No, we speak to our God Amen. and our God speaks back to us. Hallelujah. He says, whatever things you ask for when you pray, mm -hmm. the condition is when you pray Hallelujah. and of course we know in ami that we you know when pastor says pray we pray he has taught us very well Amen. so anything that we ask for when we pray all we have to do is believe that we have received them and we will have them Amen. that is such a simple a, a simple a scripture but yet the enemy wants to complicate it contaminate it undermine it the truth of the matter is that whatever we ask for you're asking God for that big house, you know, mm. for that big car, for that husband, for the breakthrough, mm. for your children, for your family, whatever it is, Amen. whatever. That's what the word of God says. It's not our words. Amen. It's not our intelligence. Mm. It's the word of God. Mm. He said things. I, and mommy, I've come to understand in my little Christian walk that God wants us to have things. Amen. He wants us. He, he desires. The Bible says he desires. He delights in our prosperity. Mm -hmm. So you can ask God for anything, Amen. literally. No matter how big, no matter how small, no matter how ridiculous it may sound to somebody else. But for you, that's the thing that you want. You ask God for it Amen. in the place of prayer. And you believe it and you receive it. It's simple. <laughs> simple. <laughs> Not so complicated. Not complicated. All you need to do is ask. ask. Now, Pastor Rochelle, you <laughs> mentioned something very spiritual, a, a spiritual code, and uh, something that the Holy Spirit has just pressed in your heart. And you kept on saying that God wants us to have things. Which things are you talking about? Mommy, everything. Everything that he died for on the cross of Calvary. That's one of the reasons, of the many reasons, that I, I, I really respect our Father. Because I believe that our Father is pushing for those things that are written in the word, mm. the promises of God, the mm. covenant promises. Mm. And I think somewhere in his spirit, he's made a determination that I'm going to have everything, mm. <laughs> everything mm. that Jesus spoke about in the word of God from the Old Testament to the New Testament. I'm going to have everything. And that is why his, mm. his level of faith is so, you know, far ahead of ours, because sometimes 
we, we reserve ourselves. No, maybe God doesn't really want me to have a boat. Mm, mm, <laughs> he doesn't really want me to only, you know, like flying um, a private jet as for those. But God wants you to also have a private jet. There's no limit in mm, God. Mm. Now, child of God, if you can take a minute and I want you to go back, sit back and ask God for something right now. Speak to your God. He's, got, he's given us a blank check. He's given us a buffet. Amen. He has given us something that is so profound. Today's word is actually very exciting. The best. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just bubbling because we are reaching towards the end of the fast. We literally have three more days to go. And we will be gathering here in and across the entire world to celebrate 40 days of fast that has yeah. been just been declaring the word besides the fast we had the crossover which was amazing and we had the prophetic word so you are protected for the entire the rest of the year Hallelujah. you are protected God has is prophesying but I want you to take a minute and I want you to confess because what you confess with your lips and with your mouth mm -hmm. is in, is established in the atmosphere Amen. what are the things that you are praying for is it a husband that you want this year Say, God, I want a husband. Amen. Don't go too far deep because you already have faith that can cast out this mountain. Now you, what you are praying for, not what they are praying for, what you are praying for has been given to you. You are literally working in open heaven. Hallelujah. You are literally asking God for anything. Hallelujah. The Bible says, therefore, I say to you, Jesus Christ, mm. the son of the living God, Hallelujah. is the one making this statement. What Whatever things you ask when you pray, the only thing I want you to do, connect to the source. Two instructions that our man of God gave, he says, connect to the, to the altar and follow prophetic instructions. Amen. Here, Jesus Christ says, when you pray, believe you have received them. Now, the question is, you know what, where, where the trick is and where people get it wrong, and I don't want you to miss it because you have fasted too long to miss Amen. it, is that people want to see before they believe. Mm -hmm. They want to receive before they, they can actually, uh, before believe it can it. manifest. Mm -hmm. But faith does not operate this That's way. Right. The Bible says, when you pray, you already pray, believe in your heart that you have received it so that when the manifestation comes, you already knew it won't be a surprise amen, for you amen I you love already that. know what your wedding day looks like Hallelujah. you already know that that baby that you're waiting for will be a pink little pink or maybe twins i don't know what amen. what you're asking god for right now but whatever it is if it's the mountain that your health will be received start seeing the doctor coming in and sitting down with you and saying that we thought it was cancer but as uh, god has reversed it start believing Believing in God, then start being positive about it. Start giving uh, a positive report about it. The Bible says, believe that you have received, that you might, you have received hallelujah, them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. I mean, wow. Yeah, we have to believe. You know, that's, that is the basis, the foundation of Christianity. We believe in a God that we have not seen. And that already is a very high level of belief. Mm -hmm. Like you said earlier on, Mummy, um, we, we live in a world where people want to see and touch and feel first before they believe. But the Word of God says that uh, we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. I love what you always say, Mummy, that faith is holding on to absolutely nothing. There's nothing there, but your faith is telling you that there's something there. And faith is holding on to something until nothing, sorry, until it becomes something. You know, that is Jehovah Yahweh, the God Amen. that makes something out of absolutely nothing. That is the God that we believe in. So when you pray, you know, there's something so beautiful and supernatural that happens when you pray. It's like your spirit is so much on fire that you believe that um, when I walk out of here, I'm going to be healed or I'm going to be, you know, having that house or having that car or whatever the case may be. That is why a lot of us, we prefer to be in the presence of God mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of in reality mm -hmm. because there's something a, a supernatural, divine that happens when you're in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer, everything becomes possible. So in that place of prayer, the Lord says, ask. Amen. Ask. You know, asking and receiving answers is part of the system of the world, the system that God created. 
You cannot receive unless you ask. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew 7 verse 7, Ask and you mm. shall receive. Seek and you will find. Mm -hmm. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So it's a simple principle. If you don't ask, you will not receive. Mm. Now for us as children of God, we must, the, the condition is we must ask and we must believe mm. that we have already received and we will definitely receive them. No Amen. other mathematics about it. It's the formula of Christ. Amen. Before you receive, you believe. And before you believe, you pray. So we've been praying. We've been fasting. We be, I believe with all my Hallelujah. heart, my dear heart, that what you have asked for, God has given to you. And the beautiful uh, thing God says, believe that you have received them. Oh, them. <laughs> All those things. All, all those things. All God those is not things. speaking about one Amen. thing. But God is speaking of multiple, multiple fronts, fronts. breakthrough. <laughs> wow, it's interesting. It's uh, amazing. Amen. It's a multiplication. Amen. Oh, I love Amen. God. Amen. Don't you just Hallelujah. love God with Hallelujah. me? Don't you just love Jesus? Amen. He is a multiple uh, uh, God that gives you everything that you want. Amen. And I praise God for the word that he has given us this year. He says, believe that you receive them. Not that you have received it, but mm -hmm. that. And you will have, have them. them. And you will have them. I receive them. Amen, amen, I receive amen. it in I the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All of them, mommy. And I, I have it. a long list. I have a very, very <laughs> long list. But the God that we serve is capable. Amen. He's very, very able to give you everything. Mm -hmm. He said whatever. He is very capable of giving you every single thing that you have asked for. And we thank God because we have received them. On this 37th day of the fast, we have received everything that we have asked for. All you got to do is believe it by faith. Train your spirit. I always say, discipline your spirit to believe the word of God above your circumstances. Mm -hmm. It may not as yet be a reality for all those things that you've been asking God for. But all you got to do is believe. That is why, mommy... Uh, I, I see the value of why our Father and you spend so much time in prayer because it's in that place of prayer mm -hmm. that you, you build your confidence, you build that boldness, mm -hmm. that authority and that power, that devil, you are not going to have my health. I am going to recover from this. Devil, you're not going to have my children. My children will be reconciled. My children will serve God no matter what. It's in that place of Hallelujah. prayer where you can ask and you can command and make demands on heaven for anything that you need. And the Bible says anything, anything and everything, whatever you ask, He will give it to you. So we believe that uh, the Word of God, that, the, that God has given us actually, mommy, throughout this fast has been directly in alignment with the prophetic Word Amen. that our Father has given us. Mm. Multiple. We're not just praying for one thing this year. Mm. We are praying for everything. Multiple. We're coming for Amen. everything that God has Hallelujah. for us. <laughs> the devil like it or not. Mm. And mommy, we cannot have fasted for almost 40 days now mm. and come out empty-handed. You just got to believe that it's done. It Amen. is done, done, and that's it. Point blank, period. It is done. Everything that we have asked for, it's, it's yours, it's mine. I receive it, and I'm just waiting for the, just for the, the physical evidence. Amen. I'm waiting for my physical circumstances to match up with what God has said in the Spirit. I do not know if MJ Show will be able to keep up with the upcoming testimonies, Amen. but uh, in Alleluia Ministries, we are believing for multiple open heaven. We, we are believing and trusting God for extreme miracles to take place. Amen. Beloved, God's word is yes and amen. amen. We don't debate on amen. it. We don't think otherwise. Do you think that it might happen or will not happen? But one thing, uh, Pastor Rochelle, that you said very interesting, you say that we enter into the presence of God with boldness. Now let me tell you, there is a secret when it comes to the presence of God. Oh, there is a secret that helps you to achieve what you need to achieve in prayer. And step by step, you might be saying that, uh, but I'm, I'm still just a newborn in Christ. How do I get into that secret? Well, whatever it takes for you to just enter into the presence of God, it starts small. I can tell you, True. I did not know. I was not born a prayer warrior. I did not even know how to pray. It starts very small. Amen. You can take a few, few minutes to pray. But for those that are, are already in Christ, that are encouraged to pray and have been praying, and those that are still joining to pray, 
day, meaning that those that are, can, can still join us in the fast and prayer, I want you to, uh, to, be, to have confidence because we have been praying. We've not been playing. We have been praying. The Bible says, and you have received them. Amen. You have received Amen. them. Amen. You have received them. This simply says that when you are, for instance, expecting a baby and you go through the, the nine months of uh, pregnancy, and you are now at a point where you need to see the manifestation because you've taken every possible step. The first uh, uh, trimester gone, the second trimester gone, now you are at the last stage, meaning that you've already asked for, you prayed, you believed. Now you are at that stage where you are just going to receive. The Bible says, believe that you have received them and you will have them. I I and I declare today that you will have Amen. what you have asked God I for. You will have Jesus. it, not you might, you will have I it. The it word of God of is written. There's no debate. Whatever demonic powers, whatever principalities, whatever it is that wants to hold you back has been taken. In Every authority has been taken out. Angels have been sent from above in this fight. The Bible says when Daniel was praying for 21 mm. days, he, uh, um, the angel Gabriel was sent to give him the message and bring understanding to him. God will send us angels Thank in this you, process. Lord. God will send and minister and bring us help where we need Thank help. You, but one thing that will not miss this year, you will have what God said you Hallelujah. will have. The devil like it or not, uh, we will no have choice. it, mommy. I received that word in the mighty name of Jesus. Mommy, I just wanted us to, you know, look at another scripture Amen. because um, I'm one of those people, mommy, that... Um, I'm very good at following instructions, I think, <laughs> I hope, you know. And I'm always looking um, as, a, as a child of God for ways to position myself to receive, you know, God's promises. I'm always looking for, you know, I know that God has done everything for me, but I also believe like our Father has taught us that he also expects us to do our part and, yes. you know, to take action as well, like he was ministering last night. So I found the scripture in First Thessalonians chapter 5, and verse six, from verse 16 to verse 24. And I believe that in order for you and I to receive, first of all, to believe, you know, that God has already given us everything that uh, we've asked for in the place of prayer, the Bible says in, in verse 16, rejoice. Hallelujah. You know, rejoice, you know, don't mm. ponder and worry about, oh, when is it going to come and how is it going to come? Our fathers taught us that the how is not up, up to us. Don't worry about who's going to bring it, in what kind of packages it's going to be, because you won't get those answers, because God is God, is sovereign, and He's majestic, and He knows what He's going to do. So the Bible recommends that we rejoice. Amen. Thank God that you've already received mm -hmm. that miracle mm -hmm. that you're mm -hmm. believing God for. Thank God that mm -hmm. you've already received in advance, mm -hmm. you know, that, that breakthrough that you're believing God for. And then in verse 17, he says, pray without ceasing. I remember mm -hmm. our father teaching us, mommy, that when you have prayed and nothing has happened, when you have fasted and nothing has happened, when you have given, you have sown seed, whatever, and nothing has happened. You know what he said? Pray again, you know, Amen. fast again, Amen. give again. Mm -hmm. The word of God is clear. Amen. Pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. It does not mean that because in these 40 days, mommy, somebody has prayed for their breakthrough, whatever it may be, that when the 40 days stops, we must stop praying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not mean that child of God. The Bible is clear. Keep on praying. Keep on receiving. Keep on believing God for that miracle. Because remember, he said, ask for anything. You know, we have seen with our own eyes the impossible manifesting right before our eyes. It's because our Father has prayed for that impossibility mm. to take place. Amen. You know, that miracle that we had on Sunday, Mommy, it blew my mind. Mm. We pastor prayed for a woman over the phone. Oh, Jesus, and yes. the woman jumped out of, her, out, of her, out of her wheelchair. Now, I know that as much as, father, the past, uh, as, much mm. as Pastor invited us to pray for that woman, I know that in his in his um, closet, he was praying for those kind of miracles to manifest. And it happened because God answers prayers. Amen. And then in verse 18, he says, in everything, give thanks. Mm -hmm. don't, don't allow yourself to murmur and complain. Oh, where is God? It's 37 days. You know, I've made so many sacrifices. I've given so much. He says, give 
thanks in everything. Hallelujah. Do not allow yourself in this season, in this year of uh, multiple fronts of breakthroughs. I'm training myself, myself, mommy, not to murmur, mm. not to complain. Anybody ask me how I say it as well. I am blessed. Mm. There's only one or two people that I'll say, you know, just pray for me because I'm not feeling well or whatever the case might be. But mm. generally, I've made a decision that this year I will not complain. I Hallelujah. will give God thanks for everything. And you know why? The Bible says, because this is the will of God mm. in Christ Jesus for us to give thanks. And then he says, I love this one. Don't quench the spirit. Don't quench the spirit, especially after this fast. Some of us, we are waiting for the fast to end. You know, I'm waiting for the fast to end so I can have breakfast on Saturday morning. But <laughs> I know that the fast has given me that impetus, that fire, mm -hmm. you know, that willingness to go on, to, to, to press forward, to, mm. you know, to believe God for ridiculous things. Don't quench the spirit after the 40 days. Amen. Remain steadfast. Remain on fire for the Lord. Hallelujah. Remain on fire for you, the things that you believe mm. in God for. Mm. And then he says, I love this one as well, in verse 20, do not despise prophecies. Mm. Do not despise the prophecy. You know, mommy, sometimes people believe that uh, the only prophecy I've received is when pastor has picked me out in the crowd. But every word mm. that comes out of the prophet's mouth is a prophecy. Amen. That is why I, I write them down. You can see my book. I write them down because I cannot afford to miss anything from Christ um, in any way. And I, I, I don't, I don't, dis, I don't, I try not to forget the prophecies. Amen. I try not to overlook or undermine and say, oh, pastor's just speaking, you know, pastor's a good speaker. He is a good speaker, that's for, for sure, but he's a prophet. Amen. And everything that comes out of his mouth mm. is prophetic. Amen. And therefore, because it's prophetic, it must manifest. Hallelujah. It has the opportunity, the potential to manifest. But if you can miss the prophecy mm. if you forget it. Mm. So don't forget it. Amen. Amen. And then he said, test all things and hold fast to what is good. The things that you've prayed for, child of God, are good. God wants you to have them. Amen. Hold on to them. And I like this one especially, mommy, and I want you to talk about that. I was actually talking to Teo about that. Abstain from every kind of evil. You know, when I look at your life, mommy, and I see, you know, <laughs> you know how, how everything is penned out, I know that it's because you avoided all evil, even in your youth, and mm -hmm. even up to now as well. You know, the fact that you have a beautiful marriage, you're married to a man of God, you know, beautiful children, children that are obedient, children that are, you know, following in their father's footsteps, there's a price that you paid for that. Yes. <laughs> Funny enough, Sorry for putting uh, you on the spot. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's okay. Um, I've, uh, you, you, you are touching a, a topic that I promised. Uh, for some reason, my son Anele was uh, speaking to me and saying, Mommy, the radicals need you. They need to hear Amen. the story. Amen. And uh, you are going a little bit in, uh, into, into what I needed to speak or whatever. God will give us and grace us the time to, to speak about it. But yes. Uh, there was a price to pay. There, there's a price to pay. And uh, abstaining from evil and staying away from what is not of the word of God is key for you to be able to receive from God what he has promised uh, to receive. I know my daughter <laughs> wants us to go into that, but time does not permit us to. Uh, our time is, uh, has come to an end. I know that uh, I, 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 I know what you want from me, really. <laughs> we will get I it. Want, I, will, I will have what I ask for. <laughs> Maybe uh, God willing, because uh, we'll be on uh, the rise again and God will give us uh, the opportunity to really get to a point where you ask but how did you get there how did you get there and the beautiful thing is that uh, God is faithful Amen. when you abstain from evil and you do what is good you will reap what God Amen. has for you the Bible says that you will see the reward of That's the right. wicked right. meaning that the wicked has a reward mm. it doesn't it, it looks like they're prosperous but they have a reward and at the end of the day you will not reap the reward of the wicked but by abstaining from evil you are purifying That's yourself right. you are putting yourself into a position yeah. where the enemy has no legal grounds to stand and say you are mine yeah. By the way, he does. Ha he has no uh, legal grounds over you. But okay. thank you. Uh, I, I really uh, just received a lot of the words that have been uh, 
preached by the preacher daughter of our father, <laughs> Outlook Cow. She says, everything I have, I've been taught. We have Amen. been taught the word of God. And I'm very thankful for the time that God has given us to minister to you today. Well, you will do just one little exercise with me again. You will go back to yourself, go speak to your spirit, speak to your soul, speak to your body, speak to the atmosphere. Let people think that something has gone seriously wrong with you because if they don't just know that mommy isn't happy with you isn't happy with your confession but i want you to confess i have what god says that i have Hallelujah. nobody and nothing will steal that away Amen. from me i want you to go to your bedroom and say i have it speak to your walls and say i have it speak to the mirrors and say i have received Hallelujah. it you Hallelujah. go back to your health and you look at your health and you say i have received it when the doctor says your blood is results looks a bit shaky you say I have received it when in everything that uh, you you look up to you say I have received it I have received it and I will go out and rejoice with what the woman of God Pastor Rochelle said rejoice always you know to rejoice in our days is a gift absolutely mommy it's a gift absolutely. I promise you for you to stand up not everybody can mm -hmm. stand up and say I'm rejoicing mm -hmm. but you choose to rejoice That's in right. God so you will choose to rejoice in the Lord and you will choose to be, to be able to testify the goodness of God in the land of the living Hallelujah. do not wait until your grandchild comes and say my grandfather used to do this no 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 you yourself will Amen. testify of the goodness of of God in the land of the living Hallelujah. you will come and say I have it so I want you to uh, after the program shake yourself off and say I have it amen. I got it amen. you know when you just sign that contract and you say amen I, I it. receive it mommy. I got it that I excitement it. I want you to be excited for amen. what God has ahead of you hallelujah God is so good to us he you is. know he's a good good I even wrote it down that our God, the God that we serve in Alleluia Ministries, is a good, good Father. Alleluia. And because of His goodness and His love and His mercy and His grace, you already have what you've asked for because He's faithful. Amen. Thessalonians 24, 5 24 says, He who calls you is faithful. Alleluia. Uh, and He will also do it. So the one that has called us into the fast, the one that has set the platform through our father, Alf Lukau, to for you and I to enter into this fast, enter into the prayer, enter into the giving order of the prophetic instructions. The word of God confirms that he is faithful. He will do it. He will, like our father has been saying over the past few weeks, he will do it again. Amen. He will do it again. Amen. He will do it again. So like mommy is saying, revive those things that you've been asking for. Maybe you stopped asking them for because it doesn't look, no, go back to it. Pick mm -hmm. it up again. You know, re-look at it, highlight it, do whatever you need to do and say, whatever my God, my God has, has told me that whatever I ask for, he will give it to me. I'm asking again, Lord, and the Lord will do it. Amen. Amen. He's faithful. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to us. We've uh, come to the end of our time. Our time is going out, but his time is on. We are excited because we'll be gathering with the saints to be praying in uh, South Africa, Jerusalem, your altar to break the fast. Some of you have already broken because uh, you are time ahead. Some of you will still break at the right time. But whatever the case may be, we are one in spirit. But I want to encourage those that are, I want to encourage those that are still in double-minded or still did not uh, make up their minds to come and touch the altar come and touch the altar on the 22nd on the 22nd of february we will have start our beautiful ivp Hallelujah. we'll be coming together all the saints will be coming together you know paul says do not give up the habit mm. of gathering yeah. together there's something about togetherness that you'll never find when you are alone Amen. we will be coming together to break our fast we will be coming together to give god all the glory be part of those you, that are Jesus. in the bus we will be celebrating the birthday of Hallelujah. Hallelujah ministries <laughs> international beloved if you know the story of ami we say we, we are winners win. <laughs> we thank you very much thank you for taking time to listen to the word of god thank you for taking time to listen through us and uh, thank you for just 
supporting or being there with Hallelujah Ministries with the men of God, Alf Lukau. I know that he is praying for you. I know that he loves you. And I know he sacrificed, uh, sacrifices his life you, on his knees so that you may be able to have a life out there. We love you very much. And from me and my daughter, Pastor Rochelle, we say shalom, shalom. and God bless you. Gentlemen, those of you out there watching from wherever you are, I just want to welcome you to what I think is probably the most important video on my channel. I'm here with the spiritual father that God has assigned in my life, my biological dad, my best friend, Pastor Alf Lukau. Beloved, today we want to take you to an exclusive and enlightening interview with the esteemed Pastor Alf Lukau and the impactful ministry of Alleluia Ministries International. We have been blessed with the rare privilege of exploring this empowering and uplifting mission with A.J. Lukau. Uh, life is very harsh, A.J. Life is like a jungle, no pity. You gotta believe in yourself. Get ready to be inspired, uplifted, and experience even more of Alf Lukau's life story. Hear the private thoughts shared exclusively for the first time in this film. ready for a rendezvous with the chosen vessel of God, His Grace Alf Lukawa. From the 22nd to the 25th of February 2024, the very essence of God's wisdom, depth, and precision shall manifest through His anointed servant. Through His Grace, Alf Lukawa extends an invitation to partake in the International Visitors Programme. A divine convergence where souls from every corner of the world shall gather. Your presence is crucial. Secure your place now at 5 Impala Road, Kelvin View, Santon, South Africa. This moment, pregnant with promise, heralds a new year teeming with boundless breakthroughs, blessings, and unimaginable divine favor. Don't miss this extraordinary opportunity. Register today at www.alleluiaministries.com. Dial plus two seven eleven three five seven zero five or plus two seven seven six three one eight four triple seven. Come, be part of an extraordinary week where the glory and power of God shall ignite hearts and transform lives. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website at www.alleluiaministries.com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen. Tune into our next broadcast. Stay blessed.